Another example, this is really simulation-driven design. Emhart Glass is a global company. This is a US operation where they do their research and development. So what, what Emhart do is they make machines that manufacture glass products. Uh, and those can be anything as from a, a fancy-shaped whiskey bottle, which is a challenge, really, of design and materials through to much more regulated products, for example, glass containers in, used in the pharmaceutical industry. So they have to do a lot of, of um, rigorous analysis. The uh, user quoted here is, uh, is a CFD expert because different glasses in different stages of production, it's really a molding process, have different qualities of conduction and, and convection. So, um, they're a classic example. They use ProEngineer as their production system. Um, in their research center, where they have to come up with a machine that will meet the specification to build bottles to the, for the customer's need, uh, they do a lot of simulation-driven design. The objective is, I want a bottle of a certain characteristic, and that's essentially the design is driven analytically. But the most inefficient part of their cycle was the fact that this engineer, like a lot of engineers, is not a CAD expert, so he would be waiting on the cycles of his own CAD team, up to a week in some cases. Now, he was good enough to say, by using space claim, to drive, and he's driving a CAD process from this. He can save half his time. But I think the most extreme is, is Danny, our head of R&D, went to see him, and he showed him something that took five days for this guy using pro engineer working with a CAD operator, and he managed to reduce it to 15 minutes. So that's pretty impressive. But at least he was on record as saying, I've saved half my time.